Hello YouTube family, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. Canada recently made significant changes to its startup visa and self-employed persons program, causing a stir in the immigration community. The self-employed persons program has been suspended until 2026, while the startup visa program has been capped, leaving many aspiring entrepreneurs and individuals seeking self-employment opportunities in a state of uncertainty. The Self-Employed Persons Program allowed individuals with relevant experience in cultural activities, athletics, or farming to immigrate to Canada and establish themselves in a self-employed capacity. However, due to the ongoing global situation and the economic impact of the pandemic, the program has been put on hold until 2026. This decision has left many individuals who were planning to apply for the program in limbo, unsure of their future immigration prospects. On the other hand, the Startup Visa program, which was designed to attract innovative entrepreneurs to Canada, has been capped. This means that only a limited number of applications will be accepted each year, making it more competitive for aspiring entrepreneurs to secure a spot in the program. The program aims to support innovative business ideas and promote economic growth in Canada, but the cap has raised concerns about the potential impact on the country's ability to attract top entrepreneurial talent. In light of these changes, Individuals interested in immigrating to Canada through either the Self-Employed Persons Program or the Startup Visa Program will need to reevaluate their plans and consider alternative immigration pathways. It is essential to stay updated on the latest developments and regulations to navigate the complex immigration landscape successfully. To stay informed about future updates and changes to Canada's immigration programs, be sure to subscribe to our channel for the latest news and insights. Your support helps us continue to provide valuable information and resources to individuals navigating the immigration process. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more updates on Canada's immigration programs.